Welcome back to Jacob the Analyst. Majority of you are already familiar with Jenna Prandini, so I am going to skip the introduction. Currently, she is being coached by Bob Kersey. On May 27th of this year, she ran in LA among excellent competition in the 200 meters. She also ran in Diamond League Italy on June 2nd by participating in the 100 meters. This competition was impressive, which included several former Olympians. The line consisted of Courtney Johnson, Simone Mason, Cambria Sturgis, Tanisha Terry, who I'll touch on as well in this video. You also had Gabby Thomas, Anavia Battle, and Kyra Jefferson. Now, Bob Kersey has been getting a lot of heat recently as his star players, which include Aething Mo and Sydney McLaughlin, have not ran in any events this outdoor season. And in the back of the stadium, right behind Prandini, in this race, you literally see Aething Mo dancing and cheering her teammates in the background. So if we really want to analyze the health of Aething Mo and Sydney, we don't have to go too far since we have seen Prandini perform pretty well already this season. Let us start with her progress already for the year, starting with the indoor season where she ran the 300 meters at the New Balance Grand Prix and Melrose Games, clocking a time of 38 seconds. And keep in mind that Prandini is not really an indoor runner and running any race past the 200 meters is really, really an anomaly for her at this point. What we are seeing is Bob Kersey's strategy in building up Prandini's endurance as she is known to slow down during the last 50 meters of the 200. Now, indoors was basically training for Prandini as her time was not amazingly spectacular compared to Abby Steiner and Femke Ball. But when she transitioned over to outdoor season, thus far, I have seen things slowly pay off in a lot of her races. In this LA Grand Prix race, she ran a strong time of 22.34, which qualifies her for nationals. However, Worlds is unknown at this point because we have folks like Shakari Richardson running like there is no tomorrow. You also have Tamari Davis running a sub-22.30 easily, and we also have the Nationals champion for last year, Abby Steiner, who recently ran this race with a time of 22.06 with a wind reading of 4. So already, there is huge competition in the 200 meters, and not to mention these other fantastically fast ladies that include Gabby Thomas. Other events that Prandini has run this outdoor season include the 400 meters where she ran a time of 52.50, which is pretty good for someone that is not a 400 meter runner. So we can see automatically that Bob Kersey's training program is showing results. And she has also ran in the 4x400 meters, finishing top two in competitions. And in the 4x100 meters, Prandini has also helped her team place first as well, as she is an excellent relay specialist, especially on the third leg. There is a saying that kids are a reflection of your parents. So you guys let me know, can we expect great things coming from Aphic Mo and Sydney McLaughlin LeBron under coach Bob Kersey? I think so. But let me know your thoughts in the bottom of the comment section. Now, in this race, clearly all eyes are on Team USA, particularly Tanisha Terry, also known as TT. She has been impressively running these 100 meter races. It's exciting to witness the growth of such a brilliant short sprinter, gaining strength and improving her speed within the last three years. Terry also manages a good start, but the question remains whether she can sustain it. She was the anchor leg for the 4x100 in Oregon, where she managed to fend off Sharika Jackson, earning the world title for Team USA. And reflecting on the performance of another runner, Gabby Thomas, we saw her at Mount Sac last year, where she used the prelims of 100 meters as a sort of training ground. This seems to be a part of her preparation strategy designed by Coach Bailey, Terry puts on an extraordinary performance, executing a remarkable start and maintaining it for nearly 180 meters. Jenna Prandini, with her extensive 200 meter experience, 
was able to stay composed and maintain her form best in the last 20 meters. However, it's worth giving credit to Terry who may have run her best turn ever, coming close to an upset before Prandini overtook her. But please keep in mind that Terry is a better 100 meter runner who I think can average a 10-8 this season. And Battle secured third place in this race. Jenner, who now calls this specific track home and trains there, shared how significant the victory was for her after the race. She adds that she's gradually piecing together all the things Bobby has been teaching and they are all geared towards performing well in the upcoming U.S. Nationals. She then wraps up by introducing us to her family who's there to support her. Now, third place in this competition went to Battle, who ran a time of 22.57, which was around her average and qualifies her to compete at Nationals and for Worlds if she gets through Nationals. But the interesting anomaly in this race was Gabby Thomas, who came in fourth place to many people's surprise, including myself. She ran with a time of 22.85, which was terrible for Thomas and a bit of a struggle as she usually performs better than this. Last year, she was hammered with injuries, so hopefully the situation is not as bad. And right before I made this video on June 2nd, Prandini also participated in the 100 meters in the Florence Diamond League, which made absolutely no sense to me. She came in last place with a time of 11.33 as she is not really a 100 meter runner and Steiner along with Thomas aren't either. This race is mostly a spectacle and for your brands to get your athletes out in my personal opinion. Murray Jose Talu took the win here finishing with a time of 10.97 and Gina Lukenkemper finished second place with a time of 11.09. But with respect to this Diamond League competition, for the athlete's sake, there are better uses for Prandini competing in a 200 meters where she can really score some Diamond League points. So this invite was a joke, but let me know your thoughts. As for Bob Kersey, let me know what you think overall. Have a great day. And special thanks goes to the following people who donate and actively participate in the chats as well. YouTubers Track and Ace, make sure to check him out for dope track and field content. You have David Kloss, one of our donators. A few of many names on this channel that participated in the comments and conversations this past week included Amber Aben, Erica Ashen, Dolores Tracy Young, Brendan Schiffer, Charles Harmon, David O'Connor, Dibyanshu Nag, Eric Hopkins, FBI, Hair Toss, Erwin Rundolp, Star Run, Jack Bell, Jake 100 Mile, John, John Richardson, Josh Furman, Las Vegas, Mr. Thomas, Norwalk, Pat Williams, Phil Lobiblian, Roe Bear, Stephen Kennedy, Trackman, and Warren Pollins. And that is all. Have a great day. So if you liked this video, then check out the videos right above or visit our short clip playlist. Have a great day.